hey everybody uh we're in a new vlog and i just got back from this place wanted to share with you some of the things that i picked up because i haven't done a body care slash huara huara care um video or, or haul rather in a long time i haven't done a body care bathroom care kind of video in a in like haul in a while so i wanted to share with you some of the things that i got i was just literally stocking up because uh my my stuff was running low okay it was running low so i decided to quickly stock up um so first things out my favorite absolutely love the kotex um panty liners and i absolutely love these ones because shucks i hope i got the individually wrapped yeah. i'm not sure I'm not sure if I did, but it's fine. Um, then I picked up. Now I know that this is a. Let me just get one. Okay. Now I know that this is a contentious issue, but I picked. Jeez, oh I picked these up. These are uh, the Gynaguard. Uh, what are these? Intimate washes. I love them. I know there's certain people who advocate to not wa um, Wash with uh, intimate washes. Amen. Each to their own. I love intimate washes. They keep my girly who heart cleaning and all of that stuff So I love them and then my favorite uh, Colgate which I remember somebody commenting saying that um, Really really love the Colgate that you suggested really really great on my teeth I love that one. That's the Pro Relief. It's actually quite pricey in terms of how far Colgate's go. Uh, it's about 80 bucks, but it's really, really, really good, especially if you have tooth sensitivity. Really, really good. Um, then I've got the Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is what I use in the winter time. I absolutely love this product. Um, really good. It's Cocoa Butter and pure cocoa butter which softens rough dry skin which is me in the winter i can't even you know you know when your skin is so dry that even when you do this like your back skin and it just feels like it's cracking or it gets really really excessively itchy that's me in the winter time okay that's me in the winter time and then of course uh my girlies that i i just i absolutely love them these are the nevia um sharing Caring shower cream. If you see that my nails are trashed, it it happens. I've got a nail appointment in the next two hours, so give me give me a chance, okay? Thanks. Um, so these love them absolutely. These gloves are for when I wash the dishes, so that goes downstairs. Two of the the Huns. We absolutely love the Huns as well. Really, really great. And then uh, three of these Huns. Because these are the everyday deodorants that I kind of uh, throw on top of my clothes every single day. Uh, especially on days where I feel like I don't want to put perfume on. And then, um, Nyasmos. Nyasmos. You know. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. Okay? And uh, when you know, you know. <laughs> Look at that nail. That's looking very really tragic. But it be like that sometimes. And then, of course, I got picked up my favorite lashes. These are the 126s by Eyelid. So, I'm going to put these away. And uh, then, going to take a minute to try and eat something. I haven't eaten all day. I'm on the 18.6 um, fast. And it is currently 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So, I need to eat quickly before I go get my nails done. So, let's pack this away, okay? Everything is packed away. Very, very happy. Look at that. Those are my pajamas. <laughs> very, very happy. Got everything packed away. Quite work with one hand, but 
this works with one hand. So everything is packed away, happy, happy, chappy, good to go. Hey friends, how, how's it going? It is officially night time and I'm in the bathroom kind of uh, doing my skincare for the evening and uh, I don't know if you guys have watched or seen my Instagram reel or even YouTube video of where um, what kind of skincare I use because uh, that's one thing that I also get asked about quite a bit. My fall, this is from um, a point when I fell and that really kind of irked me out. But outside of that, most, yeah, most of the skincare products that I use are from La Roche-Posay and... Um, What's this? Eucerin. And I use three types of serums from La Roche-Posay. The Niacinamide, the Hyaluronic Serum, and the Vitamin C Serum. And I do this process every single evening and every morning as well on my way to work. So I got lucky this time around because I was with Diesel and we were in this camp. And he had seen in my bathroom that I was out of <laughs> my serums. I hadn't gotten a chance to buy them. And Diesel was like, listen, don't you need your serums? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I need them. And he's like, just take them quickly. So this time around, <laughs> I uh, got lucky. And Diesel picked up these serums for me because if there's one thing I can tell you about these serums, they are not cheap. They are not cheap. Um, but just as a tip, if you do use them or if you do want to try them out, La Roche Posay, there's always some kind of sale happening with La Roche Posay or savings happening with La Roche Posay at this camp. Normally the serums go for about $7.50 a serum. Um, but uh, right now you can get like about 150 rand off of each serum. So if you really want to try them out, please, please do. I'll try and get this video out before month end, month end, so that it gives you a chance to actually try them out. And ever since I use these serums, I barely use any under eye cream and my skin is just happy, man. It's always happy. Look at that. Look at that. Outside of my jagged face this side, but look at that. Mmm. Mm, okay, let's sit down. Let's pretty much going to hi. <laughs> so I'm pretty much going to wind down for the evening. I am going to get into bed. It is currently around 8:30. I'm not going to get into bed to sleep. I'm going to get into bed to read and um, just take some time out. I've been really, really going, going, going over the last couple of weeks, and this is one of the things that I speak about a lot in my members only video that dropped today as I record this um, and I talk about how the last couple of weeks maybe even a little bit more than a month I've literally withdrawn into myself I've gone back into this space where I just feel I don't feel safe around like people I don't feel like being around people I don't feel like I'm uh, safe around people and when I mean safe I don't mean safe in the sense that um, 
you know, that my things are going to get stolen or whatever. I just don't feel like mentally I feel safe and comfortable around other people currently. I don't feel like emotionally I'm safe around other people currently. I only feel a sense of safety and comfort with those closest to me. And even with those closest to me, I don't see them as often uh, because I've withdrawn. I'm in this minding my mind era, minding my business era, but also just honoring myself, honoring the fact that I don't feel okay about being around other people right now. I don't feel okay about, you know, just having to show up to the world right now. I'm really in a difficult place in my life emotionally right now. Um, I'm constantly fighting myself. I'm talking to God quite a lot to just, you know, pray for discernment and pray for, you know, comfort and guidance and to be, you know, just cloaked by his, his presence and his strength. Because at this point, I need that, you know. So I, I draw myself into um, my faith, but also I draw myself away from the world a little bit in times where I feel unsafe and unsure. And, um, and this is easy for me to do because I am an introvert. So it's really, really easy for me to achieve that drawing away and, and being... Um, myself moment you know I'm, I'm quite okay with with doing that it's not hard for me to sit in my own space and sit in my own thoughts uh, my thoughts can become a dark place that's why I'm a depressed person okay my thoughts can become a dark place if I allow them to get there so my medication right now is very very important and I've, I've I haven't seen my therapist and my psychiatrist in a while and that's all, all on me. And I know that when I, when I do go see them, they're going to shout at me. They're going to they're gonna go off at me. Um, but, but, but there's legitimate reasons why. Um, I've been, you know, so busy trying to get the business off the ground, being so busy at work, uh, being so busy with coaching clients, been so busy with content, creating content. Um, but at the same time, just, just trying to, uh, bring my anxiety down a little bit, trying to also not focus into falling too deep into a dark place. Um, so that in, in and of itself is, uh, it's hard. It keeps me busy all the time, busy in my mind and just busy just generally. Um, but one thing I have started doing over the last month or so, and I was telling a friend of mine this today, I am the napping queen. Typically, I don't nap during the day, but I know that sleep is one of the greatest things for me, especially when, look at how shiny my forehead is, oh my god. Um, typically, sleep is one of the most important things for me when I am really in a bad or highly anxious space, highly, like, um, just a high anxious environment mentality when my mental is not in a great place napping is the best thing for me because every time i wake up an hour or two later i feel so much better so one of the things that i do quite a lot when i come back from home if i'm not coaching or anything like that when i come back home from work i sleep <laughs> i nap and I, and I feel pretty good about that. Also, I read. Um, so the book, uh, Tomorrow I Become a Woman, I finished today. And oh my gosh, that book is just absolutely heartbreaking. I did a complete book review on my Instagram, so I'm not going to talk about it as much. Although, however, I do highly recommend that you read it. I rated it a five stars. It's a debut novel. And I was just like, what do you even mean? How is it? This, it's so great. I need more by that author. Um, and uh, so I really, really enjoyed that. And I decided to pick up a thriller because I haven't, I don't quite remember the last time I read a thriller. And a thriller that I've wanted to read for a while is this one. This is The Housemaid by uh, Frida McFadden. Oh my gosh, is my period coming? What is going on? I think it is okay cool um so i'm going to be reading the housemate by frida mcfadden because oh no no my, my hands are greasy and i don't like my books being greasy 
Anyway, I'm going to read this. Um, I've heard great things with regards to this book. So I don't, with thrillers, I try not to read too much about them or know too much about the synopsis. I just want to go in and read. And uh, this is, I think, what I'm going to do. If not uh, today, if not tonight, tomorrow. Because sometimes I spend the afternoon reading um so i might just be all read out for the day so if i don't read it tonight i'm probably going to read it tomorrow so that's cool one thing one last thing i want to share with you guys okay hot, hot, hot. that's lemon water oh two things i want to share with you guys so i'm on the 18-6 intermittent fasting moment okay um i'm so used to the 16 8 one 16 8 yeah i'm so used to the 16 8 one i've done it for so long and whatever it, it became a but for me right now um i just wanted to challenge myself but not only wanted to challenge myself i just feel bleh in my body um so i'm just trying to shed a couple of kilos if i can and so for the past almost two weeks i've been doing eight to six eighteen eighteen six and man it's been crazy uh it's reduced my meals to having two meals a day as opposed to having three because i typically start eating from one o'clock or two o'clock every afternoon so instead of eating at 11 or um, 12 sometimes i'll eat at one two o'clock sometimes maybe three o'clock so i'll have a lunch and then i'll have an early dinner at around six or seven so it's it's really largely reduced my food intake for the day but also at the same time to curb the craving of wanting to eat or snack on something i'll always have lemon and ginger water which helps quite a lot um so lastly i think this might be the end bit portion of this vlog I wanted to mention these. I don't think I've ever mentioned these in my um, vlogs before. This this firming wash by Sorbet. This is the oh my gosh, this thing smells amazing. I'm gonna put it in my shower now. Well, tomorrow for tomorrow. This is the firming wash, uh, pomegranate, green tea, cranberry, and vitamin E. This thing smells so good okay so good. it smells so good and it's so refreshing for the body it tickles your senses first thing in the morning it's not that minty smell but it's more that pomegranate smell which is it's just so good it's so good and same with this one this is the body butter which i love in the summertime in the winter time it doesn't necessarily do much for me uh but in the summertime it's exceptional in the summertime i really really like it in the winter it's not as like in the winter i need more like a like a cocoa butter or shea butter or something like that that's more rich and moisturizing because my skin gets super dry in the winter so i don't gravitate towards it for the winter but for the summer oh it's still thick it's just freaking amazing this thing is look at that it's so thick I highly recommend. I highly recommend. So Bay did something with this. Oh, smell that. <sighs> so Bay did something with this. <laughs> and I also picked up the Nivea creme. This thing, if you don't know about Nivea creme, now you know. I'm putting you onto Nivea creme. This thing is so good. It's so good for your feet. It's so good for your face. Some people actually use it on their face. There's a YouTuber that I watch, her name is um, Sam, Sam Vey. She loves this for her face. She literally puts, she lathers it on all over her face and then she keeps it on there for about 10, 15 minutes and it sinks into her face and then she just, you know, rubs it further in and then she's done. This thing is so good. I love it for my feet, especially in the summertime. Just don't do this and then wear sandals because your feet are going to keep slipping out of your sandals. But at night, after a shower, so good. Just put on some, some discreet socks, leather, moisturize your feet, then put on some discreet socks and get into bed. I'm telling you, your feet will be like a baby's butt the following day. Don't say I never put you on. Okay, I'm going to go. 
and I'm going to retire and talk to myself and write some things down and also read for the rest of the evening. It is only going on half past eight. I do not sleep at half past eight. I normally sleep at around 11, but I need the time to myself. I value a lot of my quiet time and I've been speaking for 11 minutes, so I'm going to go, but I value a lot of my quiet time and this for me is quiet time. So. I'll either talk to you guys tomorrow or chances are this vlog might also end here because I think I've got quite a bit of footage and I'll start next week's vlog tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. I'll actually maybe import the footage onto my laptop now and then we'll see. We'll see. Okay, until then, good night or good morning whenever you are watching this. convenience leave them okay shut I'm lying <laughs> I'm lying don't do that <laughs> don't do that sweetie Showered, we're feeling fresh, we got the leggings on. We're feeling a lot. We're feeling a lot. We're gonna go downstairs and relax a little bit before the mayhem starts with that guy arriving. Okay, so I think I'm gonna read a little bit. Uh, it's too early for me to eat, but uh, I'm gonna read a little bit, drink some water, green tea, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh. Uh, honey, can you just adjust? Can you see that camera is not straight? No, just on the device, on the camera, just move it so it's straight. Yeah, bring it this way. Bring it. <laughs> not, you gotta be soft with it. No, it's not straight. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why did that was like, are you on something? You high? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You're looking kind of high right now. Uh huh. I said what I said. Guys, la hupula husein kere. At your earliest convenience, leave. Don't leave them. Don't leave them. La hupula kere at your earliest convenience, leave these gents. Don't leave them because when you have the right ones, they will walk in. Because na hagi toli sorry easy. Yeah, when sorry doesn't come out of that gents uh thingy. Uh, mouth easily. Mara, tada! Yabon, yabon, yabon or yagai toy. So, let's get these flowers on chat. Let's do that. Let's do that, baby. Ball, KTM, Moto GP, bye. And crazy.